Hi, this is Mark from Code Asian, and welcome to the Track Getting Started Guide. Here I will run you through a few things, like how to add your users to Track, open up Track, edit a wiki page, add a ticket and browse your source code. An important concept to understand is that your users are administered from the Code Asian dashboard. This is so you can have the same username space across all the apps we host for a role-based security system. So first let's make sure one of our users has track access. I'm going to use a roles based editor to do this. So let's go ahead and click on roles, select new, give it a name and select track. And here you can select the relevant options. I'm going to give him wiki access, ticket, search, roadmaps, reports, administration, browsing, basically everything then click OK. The next thing you need to do is assign your new role to a user. So to do that, click on the security tab, select the project, track, click add, select the role and your user. You can optionally select a group if you like, but let's click OK. Right, now you can see that the user Mark Dude has the role track access, which will grant him all the roles I assigned earlier. One important thing to do is make sure that this project has Subversion access. To get the full experience, we recommend coupling Subversion with Track as they are very tightly integrated with our service. Back on the project page, you'll find the Track Access URL. You want to click this, enter in the username and password, and you can start using Track from here. The main areas of Track are listed in the menu bar at the top. So let's go through them one by one. First, let's, let's check out the wiki. Let's say I wanted to edit this page. I simply click edit this page, add in some text, and click save. And there you have it. Now all the other team members will be able to see those changes. The timeline section is pretty self-explanatory. It will track everything going on from subversion commits to ticket updates, wiki updates, etc. You can also filter using the box on the right. Roadmap is where you can set release milestones or scrum deliverables. These milestones can be added or changed using the admin option on your right. Next is browse source, which provides a read only interface into your subversion repository we coupled with this project earlier. Here I can view all the details of my subversion repository. For example, I can view line by line changes on our, on our file Hello World. Next we have Track's integrated ticketing system. Let's say we wanted to file a new bug or a feature request. I click on New Ticket, enter in a name, description, it's a type, we want an enhancement, milestone 1, and assign to someone. Then click create ticket. Now let's say I wanted to view all the tickets in my system. I can use one of the many reports that comes built in with track. So click on view tickets and select from one of the reports. I'm going to select active tickets which will display all the currently active tickets. And here you can see the feature request I just submitted. And that's the quick overview. Don't forget to refer to the track documentation for further details. Thanks very much for watching.